Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure MySQL 8 that is the latest version on Linux Mint 21. Okay, first open terminal, system tools, terminal, verify mysql-v. See, we don't have the mysql. So, to install it, first we have to run update the packages, sudo apt update. Now install the MySQL my sudo apt get install mysql hyphen server and hit enter. See here the message it is done so run this command copy it sudo Now run again. Type Y for confirmation and hit enter. See, we have successfully installed MySQL. Now run mysql hyphen v control l to clear screen mysql hyphen v see we have installed mysql latest version that is 8.0.36 okay so let us verify the status of the mysql service sudo systemctl status mysql d see service name is not MySQL D, it is MySQL. See, MySQL service is started. Q to quit, control L to clear screen. Let us connect to MySQL server. sudo MySQL. See, we have successfully connected. The first step is we have to set the password for MySQL user, that is root user. Alter user root it should be in singular double quotes identified with in single quotes my underscore native underscore password then provide the new password then by new password put semicolon at the end of the statement it is typo we have to give my SQL, not my. So copy this one. Copy it. Paste it. My SQL underscore native underscore password. By provide the new password and the set the password for root user. See, error is we have to give separate quotations for root and localhost at the rate then single quote then give then copy this entire line from localhost to semi paste it hit enter see we have successfully set the password for this root user okay exit now without sudo give mysql see before we use it to connect with this mysql sudo mysql now con try to connect mysql hyphen u root hyphen p then provide the new password which we have set see we have successfully connected to mysql server let us verify the list of the databases for so, databases see these are the four default databases comes with mysql so let us create a new database by running the command create database then provide the database show databases to verify that this database is created or not. see we have successfully created database because we haven't received any error okay so to create new table in this new database first we have to switch 
to new database by using the command use database name. Now database has been changed. Let's create a table. Create table student s number int primary key s name where care put semicolon at the end of the statement see it is type of int okay see to get previous command we have to use the up arrow okay from your keyboard and give the here int it is success now verify show tables see we have one table control l to clear screen now insert some data into this table insert into provide the table name table name here is student values then provide the values after every command you have to give the semicolon now try to give the same command it will throw error because we have given the primary keys okay so duplicate entry so it won't allow duplicate values for this column that is student number so give the another one but here name can be anything now it will allow see select star from verify student to get the list of the rows from this table see we have the two values now insert one more row replace this Your student name may may not be the same now verify again select the star from student see we have the one more to get list of users try to run show users see we don't have the command user so select star from mysql dot user let me get only user from the command instead of all columns give the remove star means it will give the all columns of the this view or the table see let us create a user create user james identified by provide the password now run the same command see new user is added okay control l to clear screen to exit from this mysql you exit now we want to restart the mysql server use the command sudo systemctl status mysql see see it is started so q to kit now restart it sudo systemctl restart then mysql we have successfully restarted let's verify when it is restarted see we have see it is started 3 seconds ago q to kit let us stop sudo systemctl mysql stop mysql it is stopped verify again see mysql server shutdown complete okay stop 2 seconds ago and its state is inactive or dead q to kit now let's try to connect to mysql when it is stopped so mysql hyphen u provide the username hyphen p then provide the password see we are unable to connect because it is stopped let us start it sudo system ctl start mysql now run the same root provide the password see we have successfully connected even we can connect with new user so control l to clear screen instead of root give the new user name james hyphen p then provide the password see we have successfully connected with new user let us try to create a database with this user r2 admin see access denied for the user because this user doesn't have the create database privilege that i will show you later 
how to grant the privileges for the users in mysql even who we'll try to switch to r2 schools database which is already existing see see we, even we don't have the access to this database okay so exit and you have to connect with the user root even if you want to verify the mysql version mysql hyphen v see in this video we have seen how to install mysql server version 8.0.3.6 on linux mint 21 for more mysql server videos please subscribe my channel thank you